Okay, today I'm somewhere that I haven't been for a while now. As a laptop worker who lives in the sun, you might think that's somewhere attractive, I might be under the palm tree, I might be talking to you from the beach. No, I'm not, but where I am today is I am back on my soapbox. I've got that megaphone out because I want to educate the world about what you want to do and not to do in zero. Okay, let's talk about cash accounting, what it is and when you don't want to use it. One of the problems with Xero is because it's so user friendly, and I keep saying this, you dive in and think, brilliant, this is a piece of cake, I can do this. I'll link to my bank and then all that I'll do is I'll go to every transaction from the bank and I will code it. And that's what I would call cash accounting. Xero's actually got a really good blog on this and I can put a link to that blog. It talks about what the difference is between cash accounting and what accountants would refer to and use is accrual accounting. So what is cash accounting? Cash accounting is simply coding transactions from your bank reconciliation. You're entering transactions as they happen cash wise. So you enter your expenses when you pay the amounts and you enter your income when you receive the amounts. Now there are rules around who can use this. You can check out HMRC and find out what the rules are. But if you're a business of any decent size, cash accounting is not going to work for you. Think about it, if you receive an invoice, cash is maybe a bit tight or you forget about it and you don't pay that invoice for ages, then it's not gonna be accurate showing it when it's been paid. Likewise, for your income, if you invoice clients and then you wait a month before you get paid, again, it's not an accurate representation of when you've earned that money. You've earned that money when you've done the work, so you should be inputting transactions as they happen, so based on the documents, the backup documents, rather than straight from your bank reconciliation. I see so many people doing this, I understand why, because you just go, yay, bank fees are live, the bank is linked to zero, this is a piece of cake. So don't do it, unless as I say, you're a small business, there's not a lot happening, and then it can be okay, following the rules that, for when you're allowed to do it. If you have done cash accounting and you want to fix it, don't worry, I've got another video that will show you how to do that. But today's soapbox top from me, and I haven't had from one for a while, is don't do cash accounting. For sales, enter sales invoices in zero. For purchases, enter purchase invoices in zero. And then when you get the transactions coming through your bank account, you match them to the invoices. Don't worry about the terminology. You don't need to understand accrual accounting. You just need to know that recording transactions straight from your bank account is probably not a good idea. As always, if you like my videos, please let me know that you like them. And why don't you subscribe to the channel so you get notified when new videos are uploaded each week. Until next time, happy zeroing.